Hi, I'm Katie from Bootstrap Farmer, and today we're going to talk about automated grow racks. Our grow racks are based on a flood and drain system, also known as an ebb and flow. What this means is water enters the tray and bottom waters your crops. That means you'll want to use a tray with a mesh bottom or one with holes. As the tray fills up, it'll soak the media while giving the roots the oxygen they need. This system is suitable for all types of grow mediums, such as coca corn, potting soil, hemp mats, and even rock wool. These fans provide optimal airflow for your plants 24 seven, keeping down pathogens, mold, and pests. They also feature timers that control the lights and the pumps. The reservoir comes equipped with an aerator to keep it oxygenated. This aerated water is constantly churning, helping to reduce the risk of stagnated water. And each rack comes with a pump perfectly sized to provide water to the flood trays. The grow racks come fully assembled with flexible hose that won't break during transit, growing, or irregular maintenance. The supply line starts with this hose, which is attached to the pump. From there, the supply line tees off one side for flushing the system and the other for supplying the trays with water. On the supply line side, you get a whole filter with a mesh screen for easy cleaning. From there, you'll see a shutoff valve, which will remain open during watering. Each flood tray is equipped with these shutoff valves, so you're able to control the water levels at every tray. Each tray is equipped with four lights, providing even lighting at every level. At the drain line, these risers help prevent water from overflowing your trays. As the water rises, water will drain into this riser and any dirt or debris will be caught by the screen. All right, Katie, thanks for walking us through the features and benefits of the automatic grow rack from Bootstrap Farmer. And in this section, we're going to talk a little bit about the specs and answer all of the frequently asked questions that we tend to get. The number one question that we get is, can I buy the parts and put this together myself? What that caused, we tried that in the very beginning, but that caused a big backup on our customer service side and a lot of back and forth between both parties. And so many people just asked for the rack to be assembled that that is the route we have chose to go down. Anytime we've tested that out, it just hasn't worked right. If you have the ability to build your own rack, more than likely you're going to specialty tailor that exactly for your needs. This rack is going to cover 95 to 98% of everybody's needs, most of the time right off out of the box because we know it works. Therefore, the only way to get this rack is to get it fully assembled as it comes. We've tried everything else. The one exception to that is some people may want to use a different light or a specialty light. You can call customer service at 888 406-1982, talk to one of our tech specialists, and they can remove the lights from the rack, but that's the only kind of thing that will take off. The pump is perfectly sized, the aerator is sized, the fans are there, like everything is as it should be because we know it works. The lights, certainly the exception, that's the one thing we'll take off for you. And we do occasionally have people ask, how much is the shipping? The shipping is already built into the price. We can't ship these things international because we've We've tried a couple of times. There's so many hands involved between the unit leaving our facility, going through the hub, getting to a port, loaded on a container, getting jostled about, getting to the other port, taken off. We have zero control. It's, it's hard enough to get it from here to there. And we know that on via truck that it works, but anytime we've ever put that in a boat during testing, it hasn't gone well. So for that reason, it's only available to the lower 48 in the United States. We've also had questions that, hey, when I get this, are the shelves adjustable? The answer is no, because the plumbing is already set and everything's cut and fit into place. So with a four-tier rack, you're looking at 13 and a half inches in between shelves, which is great for propagation or maybe hardening off taller vine crops. A four-tier rack is eight and a half inches tall, great for maybe taking your transplants and up-potting them or taller crops, maybe some uh, wheat grass or fodder if you like to grow them a little taller. But our five-tier rack, by far, by far, the most popular rack that we have, pretty much set for microgreens and early stage propagation. Those are six and a half inches between the shelf length, 
which puts that light right where you need it. We've had instances over the years where people get this and have moved them into basements or upstairs. We're currently upstairs. This rack got up there, no problem. The empty weight of this thing is around 120 pounds. We say it's 180 pounds delivered because that accounts for all the shipping material and the pallets and everything we have to do to secure the load during transit. But two people can easily move this up and down some stairs. It is on wheels. So as the rack gets delivered to your driveway, you simply unbundle it, wheel it into place, perhaps lift it up a couple of steps. But if you're going to be farming, farming's a physical job. There is a little bit of that physical maintenance and setup. But once it's moving into place, we almost never hear of any issues arising from that. We also get the question of how do I actually get this in my house because I have to push it through a door. It's 29 inches deep, 52 inches wide, and 77 inches tall. Most doorways are 80 inches tall for just your standard house door at 77 inches. It can glide right under there. And as long as your doorway is at least 29 and a half to 30 inches wide, which even uh, most homes, for sure the door is like 32 inches, often 36. It fits right in there, just turn it sideways and wheel it right in. The flood trays are 45 and a half inches wide, which fits inside of the rack. They're 29 inches deep and three and a half inches tall. So that means you can fit four 1020 trays inside of each flood rack. On the water level adjustments, it's pre-done at our warehouse to exactly come just below the lip of any bottom watering tray. It's going to wick up on the ebb and flow system that Katie talked about earlier without flooding over into the rack. Now, this also comes down to a lot of people ask about the pump size. These pumps are perfectly sized to move water inside of each flood tray moving up with the last tray being filled last and as they drain, the bottom tray drains last. And so during a typical 30 minute watering interval, there's plenty of time for the water to come up, bottom water, get soaked by the media, and then drain free to avoid any oversaturation of the water. This also means that because this pump is not oversized, it, it doesn't fill up as quick as some people think it needs to be, but by the time it actually fills and floods, it's not flooding the tray so fast that it doesn't have enough time to drain through the drain line, which means water is not coming into the top of the trays. And so your seed beds are not disturbed, your plants aren't getting wet, and it's doing exactly what it needs to do. So don't oversize the pump, don't undersize the pump. We've already taken care of that for you. The pump that comes with it is exactly what you need. We also get the question of what do I need to do from a plumbing standpoint, and it's absolutely nothing. The reservoir is self-contained, all the plumbing lines both feed the flood trays and then drain back into the reservoir. There's no place for the water to go except for the drain, unless there's a catastrophic leak, which is, as a farmer, your responsibility to make sure that everything is up and running as it should. Now, I don't recommend this being like on a hardwood floor inside of your dining room or inside of a bedroom or inside of any multi-story home or apartment building. Because with hydroponics, there's always a chance for a little bit of water to splash out. You're going to be taking the trays out and moving them to your harvest area. That's where most of the water is going to come from. So no carpet, no hardwood floors. Just be sensible about where you're actually trying to grow and farm. When it comes to flushing the valve out, we have a hose that you hook up a regular standard 5 8 inch water hose that you can either run to a drain, to a sink, or outside for drain to waste. And we are going to cover that in the next video. As far as the electrical needs, a five-tier rack, again, our most common rack, is 6.8 amps worth of draw. And it comes down to five amps for the four-tier and three and a half amps for the three-tier. This accounts for the aerator, the fans, the pump in operation, and all the lights in operation throughout the pump. So even at that 6.8 amps, unless the pump is on, you're even drawing less. So we do recommend that each rack has its own separate outlet uh, GFCI in some areas may be required by your state or your city. It's kind of up for you to decide whether uh, you're in spec or not, but one single standard 110 outlet is plenty for this rack. What we don't recommend is putting this on the same circuit that you're running other heavy equipment. You know, you don't want to blow a breaker, but if you do, it's an easy fix, and we also cover that in the next video. When fully weighted out with water and plants and oper in, in total operation, this rack could weigh up to 380 pounds. So again, if you're going to put this on a second story or inside of a shop or a shed or anything that has a wood floor, make sure that you can actually put that much weight on there. 
Uh, that's not something we really can answer for you over the phone. You're gonna have to do your own due diligence, but if it's on concrete or inside of a normal house or commercial building, you should be just fine. A lot of people wanna know why we have a valve on every single flood tray and why you can turn the lights off at every single flood tray. And the reason is sometimes throughout the year, you may fluctuate with what you actually need or don't need. And so if you decide that, hey, one week, I don't need to grow an extra four, turn off the lights, you can turn off the water to that one particular tray and not waste the energy it takes to get the water up there or for the lights to go. And you're also not watering uh, just empty water with no plants, causing a little bit of algae to grow. So it's, it's just a furlough maintenance item that you can totally turn off the water at each point. It's not really a matter of, hey, can I flood the tray more or less? You don't need to, it's already preset but it's just a way to, if you're not going to use the rack every single one, or if you're going to go, out, going to go on vacation, maybe you want to put your house plants in there, it gives you a little bit of optionality. And the final most frequently asked question is, what kind of media do I need to use? You can totally use soil, cocoa core, compost, uh, biostrate, rock wool, anything that you're normally going to use in your operation can be in this rack. And in the next video we're going to cover that means that you may clean your rack a little bit more often if you're using a soil or a cocoa core, and may clean a little less if you're using a soilless media. The option's totally up to you. Each rack has all the screens that you'll ever need to keep debris out of the system, and for the little finds that get in there, we have a whole screen mesh system. And again, Katie's going to walk through the daily operation and set up in the next video. After that video, we have a compatibility video in which I walk you through all of the different tray configurations you can use with the automatic row rack. Again, if you have any questions or any special circumstances and you want to talk to one of our tech team, it's 888-406-1982. Hit option one for one of our tech specialists. They've pretty much heard it all at this point. So if you have a special circumstance, they can walk you through it. If you're going to uh, order multiple racks, please give them a call first so we can uh, get that price down for you. They'll have a little price break if you do more than two or three. Other than that, Please enjoy the next video with Katie as she helps you set up your rack.